Good afternoon, my name is Karen Hughes, and today I will be meeting with Ms. Angela Brown. Uh, Ms. Angela Brown is coming in today to meet with me because she's been having periods where she's been feeling sad and overwhelmed. Good afternoon, Ms. Brown. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. Would you prefer me to call you Angela or Ms. Brown? Angela. Okay. All right, Angela. My name is Karen Hughes, and we'll, do, we'll be uh, meeting today to talk about some things. Okay? Okay. So, um, to begin with, you want to give me a little bit of background on yourself? Sure. So, uh, what kind of um, work do you do? I'm a teacher. Okay, what kind of teacher? Special education teacher. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. What made you decide to go into that field? I just wanted to help people. Okay, okay. Um, anything else? Um, sure. Um, well, tell me about your family. It's just me. It's just you by yourself? Mm -hmm. Where parents are not involved or siblings or no? My siblings live in Texas and my parents live in Florida. Oh, wow. Your family is all over the place. Yes. Oh, wow. My parents just got remarried. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. For you. How do you feel about that? It's scary, but that's good for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were right. divorced and they got back together. Wow. Okay. So why don't you tell me about what brings you in today? I feel a little down. Okay, why have you... How long have you been feeling a little down? For a few months now. A few months now, okay. Do you know why? For a lot of reasons. Like, can you tell me about one? I've always had periods when I felt down. But it's always went away eventually. In the last few months, I had a few family members pass away. Then I lost my pet, so I just can't seem to shake the sadness off. Oh, wow. Well, first of all, let me give you my condolences mm -hmm. on the loss of your family members and the loss of your pet. You know, I can relay because I've lost uh, close family members in the past, and, and it takes some, you know, some time to, you know, to get past that. Thank you. So do you want to tell me about um, which family members passed away? My grandparents. Oh, your grandparents? Mm hmm Oh, wow. Did they pass around the same time or? Yes, they did. Oh, wow. You were... Oh, wow. Um, You mentioned your pet passed away? Yes. Oh, how... what was it? A dog, a cat? A cat. A cat, okay. I have a cat too that I, I'm very close to. How long did you have the cat? 10 years. Wow, 10 years. So I'm assuming you were very uh, close to the pet. Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about like, um, so you said you felt down because you suffered a lot of loss. Let's try to, um, when you feel down, like what usually happens when you feel like down or. I just don't have a lot of energy to do much. Not okay. Lack of energy. Yes. Anything else? You know, sometimes I eat. Oh. Or I don't eat at all. Oh, I fluctuation, eat. fluctuation in appetite and. Yes. Oh, okay. So let's um, think about some things that we could do to kind of help you combat. Um, you're feeling down or feeling overwhelmed. Do you have any ideas? Like, what kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I like crocheting. Oh, crocheting. Oh, I never knew how to crochet. But I heard that people say that that's very relaxing, you know. And is that what it is for you? Are you relaxed when you do that? Yeah, it keeps me focused. It takes my mind off everything that's going on. Okay. So what about journaling? Like when you start to feel bad, to just kind of write down the feelings, to try to get them, you know, off your chest, to help you feel better. Have you thought about that? I do that sometimes. Okay. So how's that been working for you? It's okay. It's okay. Has it helped you feel better or take, some, you know, relieve some of the, um, the sadness? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Um, what about um, exercising? 
Yeah, no, I don't really do that too much. No, you really don't do that too much. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one of the things that um I think that um, may help is for when you start to feel down to just write positive statements. That's an idea. And um, I'm going to pass you a pen and you can write down a positive statement about yourself and like kind of just repeat it over and over. So would you like to try that now? Sure. Okay. And then when you write it down, then can you read it to me? So you just want me to write down a new statement? A positive statement. Okay, and so what does that say? I am capable. Oh, I am capable. Mm-hmm. Well, that's possible. You are capable of a lot of things. Can you name a few things that you are capable of and that you do have control of? Um, I guess... Um, myself. Yourself, and, and you do, and anything else? That's all I can think of. That's all you can think of right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you, let's go back. You said you were a teacher, so you're capable of caring about other people. Yes. You know, that's a very positive attribute, you know. Um, that means that you're a kind and caring and compassionate person. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. Can you write down another statement about a positive statement about yourself? And what does that say? I will be okay. That's a great, great statement. I will be okay. Whenever, can you repeat that? I will be okay. So when you start to feel down or overwhelmed or you start to feel those sadness, those sad feelings coming on, you know, you can refer to this statement right here. Yes. And can we repeat it again? It I says, will okay. I will be okay. Okay, yes. so for our next session, I'd like you to bring in your journal mm-hmm. and um, we can write down in your journal and we can um, review it or you can share it. But I want you to get in the habit of writing down your feelings to get them off your chest. You know, when you put it on paper, you release it. Yeah. You release the negative and you'll be able to take in the positive. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So, Miss Angela Brown, I will see you in about a week and we will continue our session then. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in, Miss Brown. Thank you for seeing me. All righty.